I felt like I just had to try and do something. George and Sarah Davis standing in the street, sharing a light moment with friends outside their Brentwood home. Like a phoenix rising from the, from the sand. <laughs> Two couples smiling, laughing, feeling good about the world on a picture-perfect fall day. Not long ago, this scene would be hard to imagine because Sarah couldn't walk. Lots of pain, um, reliance on the wheelchair. It was hard on the family. Uh, I had to give up my career. Sarah's husband George took these pictures of his wife to chronicle an impossible journey that started in 2000 on an ambiguous and bumpy road that wouldn't end until 14 and a half years later. I um, had a ruptured disc when I was in my residency at Vanderbilt and developed a disease called arachnoiditis that uh, took eight years to diagnose. Uh, in the meantime, we weren't sure what was going on, but I was declining. Um, I went from being able to stand up and walk to uh, walking with difficulty to then having to rely on a wheelchair uh, to ambulate. George was always there, doing whatever he could to help his dear wife cope, recover, move on laying on the couch and or 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 um can everyone gather around her around the couch or in her wheelchair because that was our life it was you know george even built this stone wheelchair ramp outside the couple's home and one of the blessings in my having been in the wheelchair is i met many other people in wheelchairs and it was wonderful to have them in our house because we could accommodate them in our home as the years tick by, Sarah continues to draw strength from friends and family, smiling through pain, wondering what comes next. Couldn't sit up for longer than about 15 minutes at a time. The reality just broke through and it was very, very difficult. Um, and it was hard on our marriage as well. What were those times like? It felt like there was no way out. That was the thing, it's just feeling like you're trapped and um, in a very, very pain, and she's pain, in pain. I said, Mom, I've exhausted everything I can think of. I need a miracle. And she reminds me of that to this day. And then something remarkable happened. Sarah's dad talked to the owner of this jewelry store here in Shelbyville, a meeting that would forever change Sarah's life. Uh, he comes in and, uh, and asks about Eddie. And I tell him she's walking, that she got a stem cell transplant, and she's walking. And he said, my daughter's been in a wheelchair for about over 14 years. So he immediately calls her and tells her to go on this website. After doing some research, Sarah and George went to Scottsdale, Arizona in August 2014 to let Dr. Todd Malin do an experimental stem cell treatment. We simply take a lot of those stem cells that are in storage and doing nothing for you at the time, release them into the system in such a way that they can focus in on whatever condition we're trying to treat and allow the body to finish that treatment process or that healing process on its own. A few days later, a sign that something was happening in Sarah's body. So my mom, she looked down at my foot and said, Sarah, your foot is pink. It's not grayish blue. The treatment worked and the joy, relief and tears still evident now two years later. Our daughter, um, Anna, who is, um, she's now a sophomore in college. Her senior year in high school, I took her to the father-daughter dance and at the end, Sarah walked in, and it was like, wow. <laughs> I'm not used to seeing my mom like this. Even a simple act like standing and watering plants reminds Sarah Davis just how far she's come 
and how thankful she is to have so many loving, giving people in her life. People who've been traveling along her road every step of the way. You may be in a situation where you don't want to be the receiver, but Sometimes that may be a blessing. We're very it, thankful. We are very <laughs> thankful. And George has been wonderful, and I'm so thankful for that.